Media would like to thank the following sponsors without whom the coverage of high school sports would not be possible. Institution for Savings, who also sponsors the player of the game. Giuseppe's Italian Restaurant. Pentucket Medical. Appleton Eye Associates. Newburyport Five Cent Savings Bank. Port City Sandwich Company, and Nick's Pizza, who also is the Feed the Crew sponsor. Port Media greatly appreciates their support. If you are interested in sponsoring local programming, contact me, Sarah Hayden, at 978-961-0350. And we'll take a quick time out and be right back. You're listening to High School Football Live on the Legend, WNBP. Usually it's a horse because the, the rider on the horse is partly and he's carrying the American flag, so maybe they'll use that and we'll uh, baseball that with the national anthem. Right, because he changed flags. He had the Spanish flag when he, when he first came on. Oh, yeah, that, so they do have a flag on in the end. But anyway, we'll see what happens now with the coin toss. Maybe it's one of the column toss. Maybe it's one of the white jerseys, white uh, gold pants. Uh, Stoneham is in the uh, blue jerseys, white pants. I, I bet I'm going to call them Bedford today because they've got the same colors as Bedford had. Oh, they certainly are, so, yeah. So we'll get mixed up in that probably along the line. <laughs> well, the, uh, yeah, the niceties are being uh, handled over at the uh, midfield stripe. And, yeah, I just can't get over what a, uh, what a change between uh, this week and last weekend. Last weekend with a game that, that we did with Bedford, what a nice night that was, was. Yeah, it was a nice night, and uh, it's breezy. Just like, you know, we knew before, the, the stands are only on the home side of the field, nothing on the visitor side. Stone won the toss, and they're going to defer. So the Clippers will have their choice. The Clippers will probably receive. They want, they want the Stoneham's ball. Stone won the toss. They have uh, deferred to the second half. Well, a lot of teams seem to be doing that. I think we'll Belichick's are really got the Sorry, ball the rolling doing that, and a lot of teams seem to follow that now. Mm -hmm. and, and I think I'd like to go defense. Basically, I'd like the ball the second half to start the second half. Well, the uh, yeah, the the later you have the ball, I think, especially where most games are so tight these days, uh, if you can get the the ball the last time around, and it's a close game, you're better off for it. All right, the. Uh, coin cost made so uh, we are going to have the national anthem so we'll take a time out as the uh, Stoneham Spartans band is going to be playing Ladies the national and anthem and we'll be back and after this you're listening to high school football America live on the legends WNBP. At Appleton Eye Associates in Newburyport, Ames, Maria Methuen, Dr. Stan Appleton, Kevin Gazarowski, uh, Sue Zapka, Elizabeth Wickman, and Richard Stabile are there to give you a thorough diagnostic examination. And they'd like you to know that they have added Oakley Frames to their Amesbury location and Tom Ford Frames to Newburyport. Appleton Eye Associates on Green Street in Newburyport at the corner of Harris, 77 Main Street in downtown Amesbury, and also in Methuen. If you want the best way to heat your home and provide hot water, Lombardi Oil has the answer. It's the Energy Kinetic System 2000, proudly made in the USA and installed by Lombardi Oil as a premium dealer. The System 2000 is whisper quiet, energy efficient, and will save you up to 40% in fuel costs. It's perfect for homes with multiple baths, showers, and busy laundry rooms. Don't waste time, money, or heat. Call Lombardi Oil. They can show you how the System 2000 can work for you. Lombardi Oil, building business for over 50 years based on customer loyalty and referrals 978-465-7200 see LombardiOil.com What you're supposed to do to take care of your tires by Micro <clears throat> You know, I don't really know what you're supposed to do You know who does though? The tire experts in the service department at your Ford dealership 
Get a $70 mail-in rebate on Ford Select Tires, plus another $70 when you use the Ford Service Credit Card. $140. Subject to credit approval, rebates by check, other tire manufacturer rebate are... Hey, we're back at Shawnee High School. Win Damon along with Richie Eaton. And as they were playing the national anthem, the uh, horse and the Spartan riding around the field, and then they just took off. <laughs> yeah, really nice gallop at the end there. But, you know, that, uh, the, the spot, he'd be strong to hold that flag one-handed as going into the wind. But uh, it was impressive. That was impressive. Now, I don't see any trailers. I don't see how it's going to get home. <laughs> Maybe it lives next door. All right, we are getting all set for today's ball game between the... Newburyport Clippers and the Sonam Spartans. We get set for uh, the kickoff here. And the kickoff is uh, going to be handled by the uh, Spartans, the Chris Kinnanitis. So Chris Kinnanitis is uh, getting set to do the uh, kicking and, and back to Jonathan receive for the Bajaco. Newburyport Clippers. You have Jonathan Bajaco. He's on the far side. On the near side is Drew Bordeaux. So Castanides, uh, right-footed kicker, is getting set. Clippers all lined up. And we are just about ready to get underway here with today's football game at Sonam High School with the Newburyport Clippers against the Spartans. There you go. It's an end-over-end -end kick, and it comes down uh, right around the uh, third and 25-yard line as it gets pushed out of bounds. Storm had a good opportunity to recover that ball. They dove on the ball, but when the guy dove on the ball, he knocked the ball out of bounds. And so uh, Newbyport is going to get the ball in the 25-yard line. Clippers were very sharp on that one. Basically, uh, they could have lost that ball. But uh, good break for the Clippers, and they start on their own 25-yard line. The ball. And, you know, we were talking about the cold well, weather, 20, the, the Newburyport effect Newburyport it can have on a ball. That ball just sounded like a thud. It didn't Clippers. sound like a like a solid kick. Yeah, and it just died there. It was right in the oh, open. The kick did a good job placing it. There was no one there. But I think Newby put that right bounced out of bounds, and they just kind of let it roll a little bit. But as it was, uh, it was knocked out of bounds by Stoneham. The Clippers, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line, and they hand the ball off. The Clippers run left, and bringing Number the ball up is Justin, Justin Cole. Cole. On the carry for Newby Cole's a junior, and with all the injuries to the uh, Clippers, he'll get a chance to see some action he, today. Yeah, he picked up eight yards. He's be second and two. Eight yards, second so two. Newburyport has Newburyport the ball at their own 28-yard line. Backs are in the eye formation. And there's the snap. The pitch out goes over to uh, Ethan Northey on the far side, and Number he tries 20. to cut upfield, and he gets stopped at about the 29. Make that the 30, uh, that's the 35-yard line. Here at Stoneham High School, the, uh, the markers are on the far side of the field, so it's first, it's third and about a yard for Newburyport at the uh, Newburyport 35-yard line. Ooh, wow. Shea takes the snap, rolls to his right, puts it up in the air, and it's caught right along the far sideline. Two Newburyport players uh, finding for it, but Jonathan Pacheco comes up with it. Yeah, they were fighting for the balls. What they didn't knock it out of each other's hands. Yeah, but that ball goes to the 18 yard, uh, 48 yard line. Be first and 10, new report on the, on the uh, 48. All right, the Clippers uh, come out and they have a lone back there. The, the lone back is Cole. Shea under center, takes the snap, rolls to his right, puts it up in the air again, far sideline, and the pass is complete. It goes Michael over to Shea's Drew Bordeaux. To six, Drew Bordeaux. And that's a first down. Just underway at Stoneham High School, Newburyport, and Stoneham, no score, 9.53 to go in the first quarter of play. The first and 10 for the Clippers at the Stoneham 42, and there's the uh, snap and the handoff as the Clippers run straight forward, Justin Cole. The carry is Justin Cole. So Cole's inside the 40-yard line, looks like they spot the ball at the Stoneham 37. Second down five at the Stoneham 37. And it is uh, going to be approximately uh, second and six. There's the uh, handoff again, and the Clippers run straight ahead. Cole and the carry once again. Cole got the uh, ball down over the 35-yard line. Could be third and two. It's a three-yard gain. Third down two for the Clippers at the Stoneham 34. 
So the new report Clippers had the ball at the Stoneham 34 yard line with 9.09 to go in the first quarter. No score just underway here at Stoneham High School. Clippers send Bajaco. He's slid out wide to the right in the slot is Bordeaux. And there's the snap. Bechet hands it off, and the Clippers run left tackle. And there's a first down for Newburyport. And they're down into about the five and a touchdown. Nice Ethan job, Ethan Northy, on that job at 34 yards. Ethan Northy ran to the left, and he found enough holes, and he was able to make the score. And it's six to nothing, Newburyport, with 8:48 to go in the first quarter of play. 36, Brandon That was a good job by uh, Northy to follow some blocking. Then he cut, when he saw the opening, he cut to his right and went in for the touchdown. And there's the snap for the extra point. The attempt is good. So with 8.48 to go in the first quarter of play, it's Newburyport 7, Stone of Nothing. We'll take a timeout. You're listening to High School Football Live on the Legend, WNBP. Hi there, Robert Bentley here, owner of Newburyport.com. I launched Newburyport.com as a way to help celebrate and promote the Newburyport lifestyle. New folks around the world, Newburyport.com. We have also launched the Newburyport.com VIP card, which is a great yeah, way to save crazy. money at local shops, inns, and area restaurants. For details, just log on to Newburyport.com yeah. today. Check out all that Newburyport.com has to offer. See our new live webcams, our great town video, and Newburyport.com, just like Newburyport, has it all. Visit Newburyport.com. .com today. We're back at Stoneham High School, and Newburyport has a 7 0 lead over the Stoneham Spartans with 8.48 to go here in the first quarter of play. There's the kickoff, and the Spartans get the ball right around the 25 Number yard 16, line. Coming up with it was Daniel Sweet, and uh, Dan Sweet got nailed by the Newburyport defense. Yeah. Nation. Nation really uh, buried him on that play there. So, uh, no game, no, no. For, progress at all in that kick, but he might have even lost the yard. Uh, they're going to spot at the 26. First and 10, so, Stoneham 26, 26, first and 10. Yeah, with so many uh, new report players injured or not not playing, uh, you know, hurting, uh, you're going to see a lot of new names for the Clippers today. Yeah, Reed Nation has done a pretty good job defensively. He's made some big plays early in the, uh, this year for the Clippers, but get, we'll probably see a lot more action. All right, the Spartans get set. Matt Lowe is the quarterback, and Lowe he uh, gets the ball off to Darius McPherson, Darius McPherson and Darius McPherson Stone. tried to come around to the near side. He could not cut down Brought the field. Down by 44, Kevin McDougal. He picks up about a yard, though, so it's going to be second and nine for Sonam. McPherson's their leading right, rusher. He was highlighted at the beginning of the year in the uh, Herald as the uh, top player for Stoneham and a uh, player to watch, and he had, he's had a good year, but he's, he's a little bit injured. They weren't sure he was going to play uh, how much he'll play today. It's going to be second and nine now. And Stoneham has the ball at their own 27-yard line. 8.06 to go in the first quarter. New report leading 7 to nothing. Lowe takes the snap, and he hands the ball off, and they run right side, and they get stopped right away. That's Nick Toussaint on the carry. Toussaint's a junior, and he gets the ball to the Stoneham 29. So now it's going to be third and eight. Third and eight for the Stoneham Spartans with 7.37 to go in the first quarter of play. The Stoneham uh, offense doesn't seem like it's been moving. Well, it hasn't been moving as well as the Newburyport offense did its first possession. Three receivers on the far side. There's a pass, and the pass is complete. It goes Matt over to Williams. Dylan Owens. This is complete to Dylan Owens. And a tackle right there. Good defense by the Newburyport Clippers. Loss of one on the play. But Jaco made that immediate hit. Down for the Spartans at their own 27. Yeah, that's a one-yard loss. So now Stoneham has the ball at their own 27-yard line. It's fourth and nine in a punting situation. Back to do the uh, punting. Stoneham. Chris Castanides. With Jonathan Pacheco and Drew Bordeaux. And Bordeaux and Pacheco are back to receive. Well, there's an end-over-end end kick. A nice one comes down to the new report 40. Pacheco has it. He goes backwards and uh, couldn't find any any way to move the ball upfield. So it looks like they'll actually spot it at the new report 35-yard line. Although I thought he caught it before the 35, around the 37 or 8. 
the first and ten from Newbury Park from their own 35. So 5.33 to go in the first quarter of play. Newbury Park with a lead of 7 to nothing. Stoneham, three and out. See what the Clippers can do the second time around. Pacheco wide right with Bordeaux in the slot. There's the snap. Shea hands it. Now he uh, kicks it out over on the far side to Northy. Northy, he's at the 45, the 40, down to the 30. He's at the 20, and he gets pulled out of bounds. Nice defensive play by Dylan Owens. Big, big play there. I thought he was going to go all the way. But he got pulled out of bounds right around the Stoneham 15-yard line. And Newburyport calls the timeout. Stoneham. Yeah, they signaled Stoneham, but uh, they signaled they gave the signal towards Stoneham side, but I don't uh, Newburyport side. They gave it. They gave it to Newburyport. They announced Stoneham called it, but they signaled the same time up for Newburyport. But uh, I think it might have been Stoneham that made the call. Let me see. Woodfall is on the uh, 15 yard line. Yeah. Uh, yes, they had the ball at the that's Stoneham 15 yard that's line. That's a 50 yard run by Northy. He's got 85 yards and three carries. Who knew? So Ethan Northey uh, doing a nice job early on in today's game. Newbury Ford with a lead right now with 7 to nothing and 5.22 to go in the first quarter of play. That first drive at the Clippers was 7 plays, 75 yards, took 2 minutes and 12 seconds for the score. All right, the Clippers are back from the sideline as they uh, get set. They want to, uh, things are going well for them right now. They want to get back into the, into the flow of the game as quickly as possible. Yeah, I'll mark that. Since they signaled Newbyport, I'll mark it Newbyport, but I got an idea it was probably Stoneham that called it. A 50-yard gain in the carry by Northy to be first and All right, the Newbury Spartans Newbury come out Stoneham from their sideline huddle as they get set for this play. It's first and 10 for Newburyport with the ball at the Stoneham 15. Newburyport leading 7 to nothing with 5.22 to go in the first quarter of play. Shea takes the snap, and he hands it off to... Uh, he hands the ball off to Justin Cole, who goes Justin Cole right down the middle, the spins Newbury around Port. a couple of times, right and a nice Mario pickup for Stone. Cole as he's inside the 10, and it looks like they have it at about the, the, ball, the eight. seven yard yeah, line. Seven eight, yard line. Second, second and three, eight yard pickup for Cole. He's got actually, 24 yards and four carries. Eight yard, uh, second down and two. So 5.55 to go here in the, the first quarter of play as the Clippers break the huddle. Second and two for Newburyport. They're inside the Stoneham 10 at the seven-yard line. And the lone back is Northy. He's already scored a touchdown. Uh, Shea hangs on to the ball, and now he reverses course, and he goes in for the score. Nice job by Shea. He was going to the oh, flag in the play. There's a flag on the field. Holding against Newburyport, I think, so that's going to call it back. So the uh, flag was tossed right around the five-yard line. So they uh, bring back the score from the uh, Clippers. So it's still seven to nothing. And then they'll uh, mark the, the flag. Oh, the wave and off oh. the flag. Uh, and now they uh, say it is a touchdown. Now they they, uh, they said it wasn't a block, uh, it, bad block. So it's a seventy-yard touchdown for Shea. And uh, that makes it now uh, six or 13 to nothing. Brandon Trago in to attempt the extra point. And now uh, Trago is going to go for the extra point. 5.33 to go in the first quarter of play. There's the snap, the kick. It's up, and it is good. The kick is and good. And New Report has taken a 14 to nothing lead with 5.33 to go in the first quarter of play. So we'll take a timeout here at Stoneham High School. You're listening to High School Football Live in the Legends, WNBP. Your dream kitchen is in reach at Richard's Appliance in Salisbury, where it pays to shop with dryers, ranges, refrigerators, dishwashers, plus certified factory technicians, and so much more. Shop local. We're all in this together. Kitchen dreams are made at Richard's Appliance. 155 Bridge Road, Salisbury. Online at Richard's mm -hmm. And uh, Chris Bruno, our engineer at the studio. Newburyport has a 14 to nothing lead over the Stoneham Spartans. That was a good touchdown by Shea. He was running to his left. There was nothing there at all, and he just reversed his field, went to the right, and he turned the corner up for the touchdown. Said it was a question on the block or not. They really ruled it was a clean block, but there was no penalty. Well, the kick goes to the Stoneham 20-yard line, and uh, coming up with it, Dylan Owens, the senior. Owens picks up a uh, little bit of yardage, and he brings the ball up to the Stoneham 30-yard line. 
Yeah, first and ten for the Spartans. So it's going to be first and ten uh, for Stoneham at their own 30-yard line, and Stoneham needs to get something going here before it gets out of hand. Yeah, I don't know what to do on the clock. The, the clock never moved when Newey put that possession the last time. He played three plays, and now it's moving. Now ten seconds have gone on this pass kick. And there's a handoff to Darius McPherson, Darius McPherson who runs right. And McPherson gets stop. the ball over the 30 to about the 32. Second down so it's eight. going to be second and eight for Sonam. That last drive for Clippers only three plays to go uh, 65 yards. All right, the quarterback, Matt Lowe, brings the call in from the sideline. He's a senior. And they send uh, Shane Ruda wide to the far side. Backs are in the eye formation. There's the handoff, and the Spartans run the ball straight ahead. Coming up with it is Aaron Lewis. Good job there. That's it up for first down. So uh, Lewis picks up a first down and gets the ball to the Stoneham 42-yard line. That's their first first down. First and ten, Stoneham at the line, 32. Clock showing 4:41 to go in the first quarter of play, and Newburyport has a 14 to nothing lead. So they set it up, first and ten for Stoneham at their own 42-yard line. There's a the pitch; it goes over to the far side. Lewis, he can't turn the corner, and yeah, looks like he lost Stoneham. about two yards. Yeah, a two-yard loss. That play, good coverage by the Clippers on defense. In on the tackle was Jeffrey the Martin for Newburyport. At the Spartan 41. Yeah, Martin was good job on that play. Well, he spotted at the 41-yard uh, line, so a loss of a yard. So it's going to be second and 11 for Stoneham with 3.57 showing on the clock here in the first quarter of play. Newburyport with a lead of 14 to nothing over the Stoneham Spartans at Stoneham High School. Low, the quarterback, under center, takes the snap, and he wants to throw, runs to his right, puts it up in the air. It is, oh, oh knocked down. Jonathan Bajaco in on that. Good job Big by Bajaco on that one. And earlier, too, when, uh, there was a tenor for Dylan uh, Owens, and Owens slipped on the play, and he got his balance back, and then the throw came to him, and Bajaco dove in front of him and knocked the ball away. Good defensive play. So it's going to be third and 11 for the Stoneham Spartans with the ball at their own... 41-yard uh, line. Clock showing 3:36 to go here in the first quarter of play. Newburyport with a lead of 14 to nothing. And the uh, Spartans break the huddle. They have the backs in the I formation. And the uh, deep back is Lewis. There's the snap, and they uh, put the ball up in the air near side, and the pass is complete. First down for the Spartans. With it is Dylan Owens. Owens down the uh, near sideline, and he gets taken out of bounds right around the 20. In on the tackle for Newburyport, Jacob Berger. So uh, Berger gets the makes the tackle, gets him out of bounds inside the 20 at about the 23-yard line. Nice play for the Stoneham Spartans. 36-yard completion. And with 3.27 to go in the first quarter of play, Stoneham comes alive offensively. Single back now for the Spartans. As they get set for the uh, for the snap, and there's the uh, ball that gets handed off. It goes over to Lewis, and uh, Lewis got hit just as he crossed the line of scrimmage. And he got taken down with about the Newburyport 19. Play, second down six for the Spartans at the Newburyport 19. So it's going to be second and six for Stoneham with 3.07 showing on the clock here in the first quarter of play. Stoneham has the ball at the Newburyport 19 yard line. 2.57 to go in a quarter. All right, Stoneham lines three receivers to the far side, one on the near side. And the. Uh, single back and there's the uh, throw by low and it's incomplete right off of the Chase hands of Vincent Lee and third down six for the Spartans at the Cooper 19 actually no, that was actually uh, Devin Chase was out there so uh, Chase had to hit his hands but he couldn't bring it in so it's going to be third and six for Sonam with the ball at the Newburyport 19 yard line 
Yeah, Chase was open on that too. I think again that when we talked about the weather being a little cold and the ball being hot, might have something to do with that uh, incomplete pass. And timeout. And it'll be a quick timeout, uh, time a short timeout for the Stone of Spartans. Well, all it took was a couple of big plays by Stoneham, and they've suddenly come alive here in the first quarter of play. Yeah, that was a the nice play there. The pass play to uh, Owens was good for 35 yards, and that kind of gave him a little, a 36-yard completion, gave him a little bit of momentum going. And now they're faced with a third down and six at their own 19, at Newport's 19. They're definitely, I would say they're in, uh, definitely going to be uh, two, two down territory. They won't be going for any field goal. I think if they don't make it here, they'll, they'll definitely go for the first down. All right, backs in the I formation. Third and six. There's the uh, fake the handoff play action play. And the pass is complete down the near sideline. And inside the five yard line, pass complete to Nick to Saint. So first down for Stoneham, it's going to be first and goal to go inside the Newburyport five-yard line. 2.35 showing on the clock. Three-yard line. And the uh, timeout on the field. Clippers want to talk this one out. That was, that was a 16-yard completion. So Stoneham showing that they do have a little bit of versatility. They, they have a little bit of depth to bring into today's ball game. 2.35 on the clock here in the first quarter of play at Stoneham High School. New report, though, with a lead of 14 to nothing. And they've done very well as far as uh, moving the ball when they've had the possession. Actually, Newburyport had they've had possession twice. They scored twice. Yeah, two good drives, uh, 65 yards and 75 yards. And now it's going to be first and goal from the three. All right. So the Clippers still uh, talking on the far sideline. Very open field over here at uh, Stoneham High School. Kind of reminds me of without the marsh of Triton. Triton. <laughs> All the area they have here. Yeah. yeah. And a baseball field adjacent. Had a chance to walk by the the new Bresnahan School today. And uh, that, that is huge. Yeah, it <laughs> really is. Yeah, big building. Yeah. But you'll have all of the elementary school students in there for the entire city. So that's a K through four. Yes, uh, K and then five and six right. of the uh, Mullen School, and then seven and eight, and then the high school. All right, there's the uh, handoff, and they run right, and in for the score. A three-yard touchdown score by Lewis. The senior, Aaron Lewis, scores a touchdown on senior day. And that makes it 14 to 6. New four to the lead right now. Eight points over the Stone of Sparks. This would be a great time for the horse to come back on the field. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the Spartans are going to go for a two-point conversion. And you have Lewis as the deep back. Low at quarterback. Takes the snap, and he rolls to his right, puts it up in the air. It is caught. Two-point conversion. So the uh, two-point conversion, the catch by uh, Eric DeMario, and that makes it 14 to 8. Newburyport with the lead with 2.31 showing on the clock here in the first quarter of play at Stoneham High School. We'll take a quick time out. You're listening to High School Football Live with the Legends, WNBP. How about some pizza? Not just any pizza, but pizza from Nick's Pizza in Newburyport. As proven by winning the Market Surveys of America and Reader's Choice Award for Best Pizza in the Greater Newburyport area. How about some mouth-watering award-winning pizza from Nick's Pizza in Newburyport? Listen to the interview with the Pat Whitney Restaurant Show on their website, nickspizzanewburyport.com. Stop by Nick's Pizza, 164 Merrimack Street, Newburyport. Order ahead, call Nick's Pizza, 978-465-9853, nickspizzanewburyport.com. We're leading at 14-8 with 2.31 showing the clock here in the first quarter of play. 
Mark Dolan just coming up with a touchdown and a two-point conversion, and now they are going to be kicking it off. A nice kick and over end, and it's inside the five-yard line caught by Jonathan Pacheco. Pacheco at the 10, and he cuts up field, and he gets knocked out of bounds shy of the 20-yard line. There's a flag back on the 14-yard line. And uh, that's going to put New Report back. They'll start at the seven-yard line. So New Report will start at their own seven, first and ten. So the Clippers right now with a lead of 14 to 8. And again, they've uh, had the ball twice here in the first quarter of play. And they scored twice. So let's see what they can do here. Although this is their worst uh, starting spot in the ball game. Inside the 10-yard line at about the New Report 7. All right, the Clippers line it up. You have uh, Bajaco split out wide to the, well, he's in the slot now on the left-hand side. And Bordeaux is wide left. Shea turns around, hands the ball off, and the Clippers run straight ahead. Justin Cole. Cole picks up some good yardage there. Cole's run well. This is his first uh, varsity, uh, first five carries of the year. 13-yard line, second and five for Newton Report. All right, uh, two minutes showing on the clock here in the first quarter of play. Newbury four with the ball, second and five. There's a quick pass over to the far side. It's complete, but I don't think it's the enough for a first complete. down. That was to Northy, I think. Ethan yep, Northy. Ethan Northy on the uh, reception. Evan Taylor on the stop for Stoneham. Looks like a pickup of three. Be first down. Richie, I think you're right on the clock. <laughs> third down and two. They, they definitely moved, never moved the ball at all when Newby put it, had the uh, ball. They didn't move, never moved the clock. So here's the call, uh, third and about two, and the handoff uh, goes to Cole, Justin who Cole runs right, and, and he picks up a first down for Newburyport. Gain of five in the play. It'll be a first and ten for Newburyport. As he got knocked 20. out of bounds, they spot the ball at the Newburyport 20-yard line. So five yards more. It's 34 yards for Cole. Another first down for the Clippers. All right, Shea hands the ball off to Cole again, who runs right, and he gets the ball over the 25-yard uh, line to about the 27. The yeah, new report 27. More. So it'll be at the 27, the second and six three. Six-yard game. The ball's at the new report 26. Uh, second they spotted it at the 26-yard line, and time now a uh, timeout for Stoneham. Seems odd, Richie, that they would call so many time timeouts in the first quarter. Yeah, they, I think they, they try to just stall, get their mentor, try to figure what they can do with their defensive assignments. Well, a minute 27 showing on the clock here in the first quarter, and Newbury Ford with a lead of 14 to 8. Also a little different that uh, Stoneham would go for a two point conversion right away. Yeah, they may not have a kick, uh, uh, you know, they, maybe they'd have an effective kicking game. The team's back ready to uh, line it up. Quarterback Mike Shea for New Report. His two receivers split on the near side. A little blitz. Shea puts the ball up in the air far side, and it's incomplete. Ooh. Wow, that was That's almost intercepted. And that was uh, intended for uh, Tyler Terrian. And four to go at the New Report 26. You know, it looked like Stoneham jumped offside in that play, but it, it didn't call it. So it's third and five for Newburyport with the ball at their own 26-yard line. And a tackle. Jay hung on to the ball, tried to come around to the near side, and he got taken down. Big play by the uh, Stoneham Spartans coming up with it was Lewis on the tackle. So now it's going to be fourth and nine for Newburyport with the ball spotted at their own 21-yard uh, line. Trago is going to be doing the punting. Uh, now that's Shea who's uh, going to do... No, nope, Trago. 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 And uh, now there is going to be a timeout. And uh, timeout, new report. Well, Clippers call a timeout. I think because they weren't sure that uh, somebody ran in the last minute after the blocking. I don't. They want to make sure they get a blocking assignment down right. So the clock stops. Forty-seven seconds showing on the uh, first uh, quarter of play. And. Uh, 
Now the Clippers are going to be setting up to uh, do the punt. There's the uh, punt by Trago. It's high, but it's short. It's going to come down right around the uh, near before 40 yard line, and it's down by the start. So Stoneham gets the ball at their own uh, 41 yard line with 40 seconds showing on the clock no, here. That's uh, Newbury quarter. Newbury Port 41. Yeah, the Newbury Port 41. Yeah. So it's actually going to be a 19 yard punt. First and 10, Stoneham at the Newbury Port 40 actually, yard line. they spotted at the 40. Yep. Newby Port 40, first and 10 with 40 seconds to go. So we've seen all types of twists in this ball game so far. It's only the first quarter. All right, here we go. As the uh, Spartans get set, first and 10 for them. They have the ball at the Newby Port 40 yard line. And there's the pitch out to Lewis on the near side. Now right down the sideline he goes and he's in for the score. 40 yard touchdown run by Aaron Lewis for Stoneham. And uh, that the gives the. Uh, that ties it up at 14 14 wow. with 32 seconds showing on the clock here in the first quarter of play. That didn't take long. No. And we see Coach Ed Gaudiano leaving the press box and he's headed down to the field. So, we're all tied at 14 with 32 seconds to go in the first quarter of play. And Stoneham again is going to go for the two-point conversion. So the quarterback is low. He turns around and hands it off as they try to run forward. Lewis with a call, and he gets stopped at the line of scrimmage. So, that means that the two-point conversion failed with 32 seconds to go in the first quarter of play. And we'll take a timeout. The score tied at 14. New report and stole them. You're listening to High School Football Live in the Legends WNBP. It's one of the largest hardware stores in New England. In fact, there's an acre of hardware under one roof. We're talking about Amesbury Industrial Supply, the place where contractors go for their materials and tools for projects all over the region, and where homeowners are very knowledgeable sales staff, many of whom have been there for over 20 years. And Amesbury Industrial is proud to stock as many American products as possible. Looking to install roof heating cables to melt ice before the snow flies? They can help you at Amesbury Industrial Supply. 24 High Street, downtown Amesbury. Online at AmesburyIndustrial.com. All right, we're back at Stoneham High School, all tied at 14 with 32 seconds showing on the clock here in the first quarter. It seems like it's gone on a long time. Yeah, it's been a very long first quarter. A lot of scoring, a lot of plays. Uh, the Spartans have come back to tie it from 14 points down. Chris Castanides lines up. So Castanides does the uh, kicking, and they go for an onside uh, kick. Onside kick and the Clippers pick it up right around the 50 yard line. And I think uh, the, who came up with the ball, it looked like Jeffrey Martin. And he got nailed just as he caught the ball. So Clippers will start at the uh, their own 49. Yep, they'll spot the ball at the 49-yard line at Newbury Fort. 30 seconds showing on the clock. Go, Coach Gaudiano has made his way over to the Newbury Fort bench from the press box where he normally watches the game. First and ten for Newbury. What do you think the that means, Richie? Uh, I don't know. Maybe either the communication system wasn't working right or you want to get closer to talk to the players himself. Maybe it'll make one fuss in there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll check. All right, there's the uh, handoff as the Clippers Justin run it straight Cole ahead. Cole uh, picks up a couple of yards. So it's He's going to be a second down play coming up for near report. They have the ball at the Stoneham 49 yard line. And the clock continuing to count down. We're at 14 seconds. Backs in the eye formation again as uh, Shea hands the ball off and over to Cole, and a bumble on the field, and Stoneham recovers. Coming up with it is Toussaint. Toussaint recovered the fumble, and Stoneham is uh, going to be getting the ball at about their own 45, I think. Although, and I think that's the end of the quarter. That is the end of the first quarter. That's it. So that's the end of the quarter. 14, 14. As the uh, 
uh, Stoneham Spartans recover the fumble, and they get the ball, and that's the end of the first quarter of play. It's all tied at 14 at Southern High School between the Spartans and the Newview Fort Clippers. We'll be back after this. You're listening to High School Football Live on the Legends, WNBP. Tap, snap, deposit. Newburyport Five Cent Savings Bank introduces mobile deposits. Now you can make deposits on your time. All of a sudden, Stoners come back with two quick scores on their own, and now Clippers just turn the ball back over to the Spartans. And the ball is at the Stoneham 45-yard line. They take the handoff as Lowe rolls to his right. Now he runs the ball, and he crosses the 50, and he gets taken out of bounds right around the uh, Newburyport 49-yard line. Now it looks like they'll spot it at the 50. Yeah, second and five. So just underway here in the second quarter of play, and we're all tied at 14. And it's going to be a second and five for Stoneham. So a nice five-yard run by the quarterback low. He has a lot of plays that last quarter. Let me see, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, four, 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 Fourteen plays for Stoneham. And Newbyport had 18. 32 plays in that first quarter. All right, here we go. First and uh, second and five, and there's the handoff. First down for the Spartans with it is McPherson. McPherson on the near sideline. He is in for the score. A 50-yard touchdown run by Darius McPherson with 10.42 to go in the second quarter of play. And now, Dillon has taken a 20-14 to lead. I didn't expect this much scoring, I'll admit. So McPherson with a huge uh, run, a 50-yard run, and that showed some speed on his part. As he just took off, he, he looked like he was getting faster and faster. So 20 to 14, Stoneham with a lead over the Newburyport Clippers. As Stoneham again going for the two-point conversion, the quarterback low. That up, uh, steps up under center. Ready with a the snap. There it is. He rolls, throws to his right, and it's knocked down to the ground. First pass knocked down at the line of scrimmage. I think uh, getting his hand on that one was Dylan Guthrow. So, 20 to 14 is our score right now with 10.42 to go in the second quarter. We'll take a quick timeout. You're listening to High School Football Live in the Legends, WNBP. It's a sign of good business to have a good first stop at the shop. One twelve signs point to new report signs and graphics. We're back at Stoneham High School. Wendy and along with Richie Eaton, our engineer Chris Bruno. And Stoneham has taken a 20 to 14 lead over the near before Clippers. Year before, it went out to a 14 to nothing lead, but Stoneham has come back with 20 straight points. Yeah, it's been uh, explosive, that's for sure. And that was set up as a result of a new report fumble, so they capitalized on the turnover. And that all started with the onside kick after uh, the second score by Stoneham. All right, here's the uh, kickoff by the Spartans. And it's a high end for in the kick, and it bounces right around the 15, picked up by Pajeko. Pajeko goes along the far sideline, and now he tries to cut inside, and he gets uh, taken down right around the 30. Number 10, Jonathan Pajeko. So the uh, Clippers are going to be starting out at around their own 30-yard line and see if they can get things untracked. First and 10, Newburyport, their own 29 yard line. Newburyport trailing by six right now. 10.35 to go in the second quarter. So Clippers will start their own 29. First and 10. Come on, D. Shea takes the snap, turns around, and he hands it off. It comes to Northey. And uh, Northey ran to his right. Picks up a couple of yards. Jonathan Sparkle, taking down number 20. Four yard pickup, be second and six. So that spots the ball uh, right around the Newburyport 34-yard line. 10-15 showing on the clock the here. Second five Newburyport at their own 34. So Northey's got 90 yards and four carries for that five-yard pickup. A 
little confusion on the field is the uh, thought that they uh, there was mention of a flag on the field but uh, no penalties marked off now the report set second and six Shea goes back to throw now he's going to tuck it in comes up on the near sideline and he's taken out of bounds Eleven and Michael Shea carries tackled by 44 Nick Toussaint for stunning now Toussaint uh, come up or came up with a nice tackle there and they lost a little bit it will be a third down play uh, that will Two make it about uh, third, third and seven eight for New Report. They have the ball at their own 32-yard line with 9.40 on the clock here in the second quarter. Now Shea hangs on to the ball. He runs to his left and looks like he's first picked down. up a first down. Shea yes. the carry. As he gets the ball makes the stop to about the New Report 40. Uh, the ball is seven, or 40, the New Report 43 43-yard line. Play. So the ball at the Newburyport 43-yard line. It's going to be first and 10 for Newburyport with 9.26 showing on the clock here in the second quarter. Timeout. Timeout. Uh, Stoneham calls for timeout. That's at least three timeouts for each team already. They only got two left and a half. And we still got plenty of time to go. 9.23. Richie, that, this has been a <laughs> one strange game. <laughs> yeah. Started with a horse. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, yeah. And it's getting cold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Oh, gracious. Yeah. yeah. I thought with the running attack, the clock would go a lot faster, but I don't think that's happening. <laughs> no, I think they're adding time. <laughs> <laughs> and the MFC lit using the official clock up here because uh, I just couldn't understand it. Like I said, the New Report second possession, the clock never moved from the time uh, New Report took the ball to they scored a touchdown three plays later. They have kind of a, a neat situation over here at Stoneham High School. They have some rocks over by one of the goal posts and uh, we were talking with folks before the game and I guess the seniors paint those rocks every year. Oh, that's interesting. It's the first thing I looked at, it reminded me of Alaska. When we, uh, in each port we pulled out on the cruise we went on this year, we pulled on the ports and all the rocks were, were painted with different signs and uh, names. So it's the seniors that do that, huh? It's very yep. interesting. Yep, every year. All right, Shea takes the snap. First and 10 for New Report and he puts the ball up in the air and it is incomplete. With that Shea pass intended for Pacheco. I see Stone has put a lot more pressure on Shea now passing. He, the first three passes, he had some room and time Second to throw, but now they're blitzing a little more. 43. Second and 10 at the 43. So a clock showing 9.17 to go here in the second quarter. Stoneham with a lead of 20 to 14. Newburyport has it oh. second and nine. Timeout again, Stoneham. So they're not ha happy with whatever their defensive setup is. Not quite sure as the uh, coach just about uh, walked halfway out yeah. into the field. That's their fourth. And something that's uh, not happening for me, uh, you know, usually when they when they when they uh, spot the ball, uh, you yeah. can usually tell where they're spotting oh. the ball right away. Right. And I'm always off a yard or yeah. two. Yeah, that was their fifth timeout. Remember the first time we said they indicated New Report called a timeout? It yeah. was Stoneham. So New Report now gets one back. Well, back. New Report has three left, and Stoneham is all done with their timeouts so in this half. And there's 9.16 to go. Yeah. Plenty of time and no timeouts. But they've been blitzing a little more on now. Well, it's the second and uh, 10 for New Report. They have the ball at their own 43 yard line. Offside, offside stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, they're blitzing, but they didn't get the timing right. And as a result, they jumped offside. I think it's gonna be offside stone, unless New Report moves, but. Well, the uh, official's still huddling in the middle of the field. And the teams are not moving, so not they quite sure. Foul. Offside Stoneham. Offside. Against Stoneham. So they mark it off against the uh, Spartans. The ball up to the north, uh, and Newport that puts the ball at the Newburyport 48-yard line with 9.13 on the clock here in the second quarter play. Newburyport trailing 20 to 14. Be interested to see if Shea changes cadence a little bit. And, and the, uh, oh, they fake the handoff and they spin it out over to Northy on the far side down on, along the North sideline. He has the, the first down as they uh, get the ball down to about the Stoneham 35-yard line. 17-yard pickup for Northy. So they spot it right at the Stoneham 35 with 9.05 to go in the second quarter. 
Two receivers on the left. Backs in the I formation, and they hand off and run into the middle of the line. Justin Cole. Cole picks up some hard-earned yards. Cole picked up about six, be second and four. At the Stoneham 29. So they're inside the Stoneham 30-yard line with nine, make that uh, 8.43 to go. And now there's a fumble on the play, and let's see who uh, covers it up. I, I think Shea recovered. He, he lost some yardage on the play. So that'll make it third and about nine. Loss of three yards on the play. Be third down and seven. And it looks like 32. the uh, Clippers have the ball at their own, uh, at the uh, Stoneham 37-yard line. So Newburyport trailing 20 to 14. And they uh, have the receivers three on the right side as they send uh, Cole on the left. Passing situation on Newburyport calls timeout. That's their third. And 7.59 to go here in the second timeout quarter of play. Field. Clippers call that timeout. They hate to call it time, but they have to put the lights on pretty soon. <laughs> Timeout Newburyport. That's right. You know, looking at these lights it reminds me of the uh, old lights that Newburyport had before they had that project with right. all those brand new lights in. Yeah, you're right. Now that you mention it, they do look the same way. Yeah. But it's, I guess they play games at night, but they say they don't play night games in November. Maybe they figure it's too cold because this probably would have been a night game where they have lights. You think it would have played last night instead of today? Yeah. I'm very happy that they're playing a day game today. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, last night was a little colder. <laughs> a lot colder. Yeah. Third down, seven to go. Big play here for the Clippers. They trail by six. Trail by six. It's third down, eight to go for Newburyport with the ball at the Stoneham 32. Shea takes the snap. Little uh, screen pass is complete over to Northey. He has the first down. First down. So uh, Northy comes up with the first, first down. down. And uh, official spot the ball at the Stoneham 20. Looks like it's at the 20. Game. So at the 20-yard line, first and 10 for Newburyport at the Stoneham 20. 7.47 to go in the second quarter of play. Shea passes the near side, and it is... Did he get it? Yeah, Terrian he caught the ball. Nice catch by Terrian. Number nine, Tyler Terrian. Terrian almost had it ripped out of his hands, but he hung on to it. And he's hobbled a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it looks like his ankle. Second down in the yard after a nine-yard gain. So it's going 11. to be a second and a yard to go for Newburyport. Wait a minute. He's not out of bounds yet. He couldn't make it out of bounds. Field. Yeah, that's that a, be an official's timeout. Terry couldn't get to the side of uh, the field. So uh, training staff over there. Now uh, Terry gets up and he uh, hobbles off. 7.16 on the clock here in the second quarter of play. Second down, one to go for Newburyport. The Stoneham and Newburyport has line. the ball at the Stoneham 11-yard line, second and one. Shea takes the snap, and he takes the handoff. Now he pitches it out to Northey on the left-hand side, and Northey he's got himself a first down. The flag of the play. Flag, yeah. So the Clippers inside the 10-yard line of Stoneham. And uh, let's see what the call is. First and foul, face mask against Stoneham. Face mask against Stoneham. So that's where your first down for Clippers. He, he picked up the first, first down first anyway. Down. Yeah, he picked up the first down. And uh, now the uh, mark it off will be, what, inside the five? First and goal, new report at the three-yard line. At the three. All right, 5.56 on the clock here in the second quarter. There's the uh, handoff and the uh, Clippers. Uh, Justin run it into the score. The Justin Cole on the uh, three-yard touchdown run. He went to the right, and he got the three yards needed for the score. And uh, that makes it now 20 to 20. 5.49. Yep, 5.49 to go Trago. here in the Daniel second quarter of play. Trago to go for the extra point. There's the snap, the kick. It's up, and it is that good. Is good. So Newburyport has taken a 21 to 20 lead with 5.49 to go in the second quarter of play here at Stoneham High School. We'll take a timeout. You're listening to High School Football Live on the Legends, WNBP. 
your dream kitchen is in reach at Richard's Appliance in Salisbury. Second start of high school, it's the Newburyport Clippers who are going to be kicking it off. And Newburyport has taken a 21-20 lead over the Stone of Smartens. And we're still in the second quarter. All right, there's the kick. It's a short one, and it takes a bounce. Uh, and it's picked Ooh. up by Maybe the uh, return, by big hit by Gusto on that, that uh, kickoff return. Yes, and uh, you can feel that that thud that uh, Guthrow delivered, and that was a big hit. Uh, Brendan O'Neill uh, got the uh, kickoff, and so he got hit and by Guthrow. So they spot the ball inside the Stoneham 35 at the 33-yard line. 5.45 to go here in the second quarter of play. Newburyport with a one-point lead. Newburyport led at one point, 14 to nothing, and then Stoneham came back, and now Newburyport has taken the lead once again. All right, Lowe's the quarterback for the Spartans. High formation, passes off to the left, and it's complete. Not enough for a first down. Pass was uh, complete over to Owens, Dylan Gain Owens. Six yards on the play, it'll be second down and four at the Stoneham 39. So they spot the ball, let's see where they actually uh, put the ball down. They put it at the Stoneham 39 yard line with 5.17 to go in the second quarter of play. Second and four. Owens split wide on the left hand side. Another receiver on the right-hand side. There's the handoff to the deep McPherson back, making his way through with McPherson. By Andrew for so McPherson picks up a couple of yards. It's going to be third and, and a yard to go for Stoneham with the ball spotted at the Sona 42-yard line. 5.42 on the clock here in the second quarter of play. Newburyport with a one-point lead. Third and one for Stoneham. As Lowe gets set under center. Packs are in the I formation. They hand it off again. And first down. I think he got the first down, yes. Both teams have done very well on third down. Stoneham was three out of four on third down plays. The Clippers was six out of seven. That was Lewis that time. Picked up the three yards. Yeah, I was looking for uh, McPherson, but uh, uh, Lewis the made the 45. call and uh, got what was needed. So it's first and 10 for Stoneham with the ball at the Stoneham 45-yard line, 5-10 on the clock here in the second quarter. You report up by a point, 21-20. to 20. Wind is tied down a little bit right now. Backs are in the I formation. McPherson's the deep back, but they hand it off to Owens, who uh, goes Lewis. straight ahead, or yeah, Lewis, rather, him. and uh, he gets the ball over the 45 to about the 48. Yeah, three, yeah, uh, be second and seven. So we'll say three Lewis has got 62 game, yards and seven, seven carries, Spartan, and McPherson has 56 yards and four carries. L uh, low passing is four out of uh, six with 57 yards. Second and seven at the 46. So Lewis and McPherson in the back. Says low under center. Gets set. Goes back, wants to throw, puts it up to the left to the near side, and it is incomplete. And a flag. Yeah, it looked like uh, but Jacob dropped that ball out of bounds. Looked like he deflected it. I didn't see a penalty on that. I think he made a good call. He turned, he, he turned and blocked the ball. Well, uh, I guess they're going to call it, though. Yeah, it looks like they threw the flag right away, and Bajaco said, what did I do? He, he blocked the ball. And uh, Coach Gaviano on the far side, not happy with that call. So that would be a 15-yard penalty in a first down. All this coming with 4.08 to go in the second quarter of play. That looks like a good defensive play. Looked to me like looked to me like he was right there, and if is there any, any contact at all, the receiver had just stopped. And there's the handoff over to McPherson. McPherson 
runs into some traffic, then he cut to his run, and he gets the ball down to about the 30-yard uh, line, the near before 30. Second and three, McPherson picks up seven. seven on the play. 3.50 three to go in the second quarter of play. New report up by a point. But Stoneham is on the march. Going off for the New report Clippers was Ben uh, Terrio. Second and three. All right, the uh, backs, Lewis and McPherson. There's the snap and the handoff to McPherson, who goes straight ahead, and Dennis he gets McPherson. taken down by Terrian. But a first down for Stoneham. As they get the ball to about the 20-yard uh, line. Yeah, first and 10 at the 20. Officials spot the ball at the Clipper 20-yard line, first and 10 Spartans. 3.20 to go in the second quarter of play. Near report up by a point, but Stoneham is on the march. First and 10 for the Spartans. Yeah, they picked up 150 yards rushing so far. 140 yards rushing. So McPherson's the deep back, and Lowe takes the snap, and he goes to his right, puts it up in the air. Oh, no! Oh. Picked off, but it was caught by Stoneham, and did he get in for the score? The pass was complete to Lewis, and Lewis looked like... Uh, he got bumped out of bounds, or he was close to being bumped out of bounds, but I guess he did bump him out right around the one-yard line. A 19-yard completion, first and goal for Stoneham. So the that was a big strike for the Stoneham Spartans. Yeah, it looked like the Newburyport defender dove in front. They tried to knock the ball down and missed it. So first and goal with the one. And 2.46 to go here in the second quarter of play. Newburyport up by a point. See what happens here. So we have, uh, there's the pitch out to McPherson who goes to the far side McPherson. and he gets uh, taken down. Lost awesome some yardage. Yeah, Northy on that tackle. At the four. Yeah, that looks like at the four yard line. So it's going to be second and goal to go with 229 to go in the second quarter. Second and goal at the new report four. Well, McPherson seems like he needs need some space to run yeah he he likes to go to the outside and, and you know he picked up some yardage in the middle but most of his yardage was picked up on the outside he turned his speed on and lewis and mcpherson are the backs low gets set second and goal to go from the new report four there's the handoff to mcpherson who runs oh, right and he runs and right and into the end zone touchdown. and now it's 21 to 26. So Stoneham has taken a 26 to 21 lead over the near before Clippers with a minute 58 to go here in the second quarter. 26 to 21. So uh, let's see if the Stoneham Spartans go for the two point conversion as they have been doing throughout the game today. Yes, they are. They have two receivers split on the uh, left hand side. And McPherson's the deep back. And they want to go back and throw. They do, and they throw into the end zone. Incomplete. Pass uh, was intended for Owens. And it's incomplete. So the score is 26-21. Stoneham with the lead over the New Report Clippers with a minute 58 to go in the second quarter. We'll take a timeout. You're listening to High School Football live on the Legends WNBP. Contact Sports Medicine North. The doctors at Sports Medicine North offer a comprehensive range of services, including the most advanced techniques for all kinds of sports injuries. They are the sports injury experts, and they have five locations to serve you. Call Call them at 978-818-6350 or on the web at sportsmedicinenorth.com. Back at Stoneham High School, where Stoneham has taken a 26-21 lead over the New Report Clippers with a minute 58 to go in the second quarter of play. It's been an exciting first half win, uh, good scoring, um, some couple of good defensive plays, but mostly it's been the offense that's done the, done the action. Yeah, some, uh, some huge yeah, plays that have brought us to where we are right now. And I expect a more of a defensive game. Down. 
So Sonoma leading 26 to 21, and they are going to be kicking it off right now. And it's a uh, low kick and a bouncer, and it's picked up by Guthrow. Guthrow caught it in the air right around the 25-yard line of Newburyport. Yeah, that ball deflected up one of the up front guys, and the Guthrow just dove on the ball in the air and went right down to set up the MC. Where are they going to spot it? Looks like the 27, maybe. Uh, yeah, I think see. so, 27. So it's going to be a first and goal to go, or first and uh, 10, rather, for uh, Newburyport. Clock showing a minute 55 to go here in the second quarter play. They have it at the Newburyport 27-yard line. Plenty of time, 155 to go in the first half. Yeah. And uh, Shea back. Oh, he gets nailed. Nobody was back there to protect him. Coming up with a big tackle was Brendan O'Neill. And uh, O'Neill coming up with that big play, 12 yards. the sophomore. And the tackle made at the Newburyport 15-yard line. Second and 22 at the Newburyport 15. So they have to get it up to about the uh, Newburyport 37 for a first down with a minute 26 to go here in the first half. All right, the Clippers get set. See what they can do. There's the uh, draw, and they uh, try to run it on the North left hand side. Northy gets Drag the ball up to about the 20. So it's going to be a third and about 16 to go for the new report with the ball at the, at the new report 20 yard line, under a minute to go here in the first half of play. Stoneham leading 26 to 21. And Stoneham doesn't have any timeouts, so that hurts them there because they would uh, try to kill the clock so they get the ball with some time on the clock. But that it won't be any time. Or it won't be much. Unless the incomplete pass here will stop the clock. All right, Shea gets ready, takes the snap, looks, throws, downfield, and it is. Yeah, oh, catch by Bordeaux. As Bordeaux moves it. And he's cutting to his left, and he's in for the score. What a great catch, a one-handed catch, one-handed. Yeah, Drew Bordeaux, 80 yards. So a one-handed catch, and uh, the Clippers take the lead again. What a catch. And he had a couple of defenders around him, and uh, one of those defenders looks like he's a little bit injured right now. So he's going to be helped off the field. But the Clippers come up with a uh, touchdown, and that makes it 27 to 26. So <laughs> that's all with uh, 20 seconds to go here in the second quarter. We've seen a whole season of. Uh, in one half of great plays. <laughs> oh, dear. One of the, uh, one of the uh, Stoneham players was a little bit uh, shaken up on that one. And that was uh, Shane Ruda. Although he looks like he's uh, a little bit better right now, but he was shaken up. He was in uh, trying to defend that. All right, so Newburyport has the lead right now, 27 to 26. 20 seconds to go. And then Trago in for the extra point. Trago attempts. to go for the extra point. 20 seconds to go in the first half. And there's the snap. Oh, they fake it, and they put a pass into the end zone, oh. and it's incomplete. The, the two-point conversion attempt, Michael Shea's pass, pass is uh, incomplete. was intended. Shea is the holder, and he uh, tried to throw it. Off to Jeffrey Martin, and it was too far, too Scrooge high for him to get. 27, Stoneham 26. Good try. 27, 26. What a, that, again, that was one of the best catches we've seen all year. But Wodo went up one-handed, caught that ball, and then went, uh, split the two defenders and turned on the juices. I tell you, that was a that was a pro catch right there. All right, so the uh, Clippers are going to be kicking it off. But are they? <laughs> I'll tell you, so many twists and turns in this game, Richie. Yeah, I'll tell you, it's been a long first half. But it's been exciting, exciting. 
seven touchdowns scored, or eight touchdowns scored already. All right, so Trago gets set. The kickoff for the Clippers. And uh, let's see what happens on this. I see Terrian back in the field uh, on this kick return, uh, kick defense. And uh, Stoneham uh, comes up with the uh, with the kick, uh, right around the 25-yard line. So that stops the clock there with 17 seconds to go in the first half. Newburyport leading 27 to 26. Oh, at the Spartan 25-yard line. Well, yeah. Anything can happen here. Stone will get the ball back to start the second half, too. They won the first half and deferred. All right, they uh, spot the ball at the Stone 26-yard line. So it's at the Stoneham 26, 17 seconds to go. Uh, one back for Stoneham. And uh, now Lewis carries, Lewis, uh, the, carries the ball into the middle of the line. And he gets the ball to about the line of scrimmage as the clock continues to wind down. Uh, I guess he picked up a couple. Yeah, they give him two on that. That's probably going to do it. That is and that's it. Time half. runs out here in the first half of play. And the score is Newburyport 27 and Stoneham 26. That's just the first half. We'll take a timeout. You're listening to High School Football Live in the Legend, WNDP. Port Media would like to thank the following sponsors without whom the coverage of high school sports would not be possible. Institution for Savings, who also sponsors the player of the game. Giuseppe's Italian Restaurant. Pentucket Medical. Appleton Eye Associates. Newburyport Five Cent Savings Bank. Port City Sandwich Company. And Nick's Pizza, who also is the Feed the Crew sponsor. Port Media greatly appreciates their support. If you are interested in sponsoring local programming, contact me, Sarah Hayden, at 978-961-0350. Getting set for the kickoff. Brandon Trago holding the ball. Yeah, it always seems to get colder at halftime. I think, I know at the Patriots games, I just like, because Patriots game, people get up and leave, and all of a sudden you're in open stands, you know. Yeah, it's been open anyway, but uh, you, you're idle. And when, you, when the game's going on, you get excited with the plays, and maybe you don't feel as cold, but you definitely feel colder now. But it's been a lot worse. We've had worse times. Yeah, we've, uh, we've done very well with the weather this season. I know, uh, I think it was last season we had a lot to do with the uh, mosquitoes. Landing Remember that? Right. 36, lining up to kick for a new report. As a result, there were less night games. All right, so Trago set to kick off for the new report Clippers as we are getting set for the opening of quarter number three. There's a low kick, bounces, picked up at about the 20 by the Spartans as they come up Dylan the near sideline, and uh, Guthrow knocks the receiver Dylan out, Guthrow. Dylan Owens. So it's uh, going to be first and ten for Stoneham. Stoneham will start the second half. And they have the ball at, uh, on the, uh, let's see, just uh, they had the ball spotted at the 32-yard uh, line. The markings on the field a little bit difficult to uh, keep track of. Uh, they have those... Uh, stand-up signs on the far side and they tend to get knocked down right but good thing they got the hash marks in in the middle though we can kind of count up it once they finally get the ball down it's kind of hot until then i keep counting back from the 50. <laughs> all right here it goes first and ten for stoneham and a big long pass right down the middle of the field and then it is caught caught right around the 30 yard line and bajaco oh, takes oh, down the carrier oh, and a uh, flag was thrown. It was a beautiful catch by Dylan Owens. And let's see what that call is all about. But the uh, catch, the uh, flag was thrown right around the 20-yard line, the uh, Newburyport 20. Oh. And a face, face mask, mask against Stoner. 
So pushes uh, that pushes the ball back, the and uh, they toss the flag at the Newburyport 30 20. The, uh, Still be a first down for Stoneham. Call against uh, Stoneham, face mask. So that puts the ball back at about the 35, the Newburyport 35. Actually, they spotted the 34, and that was, what a great play that was for Stoneham. Unfortunately, they had the penalty called against them. All right, Lowe turns around, he hands the ball off to our McPherson, who runs to the left, and Darius McPherson, McPherson on the carry for Stoneham. runs out of bounds right around the 20. First down. So they'll spot the ball at the 21 yard line, the Newbury 4 21 yard line. 10.28 to go in the third quarter of play. Newbury 4 with a one point lead, 27 26. A high scoring affair today here at Stoneham High School. First to 10 at the 22. That's uh, 86 yards rushing now for McPherson, 124 yards passing for low. <laughs> Two receivers split to the right, and there's the handoff oh, to McPherson, nice and uh, Guthrow the made the tackle Guthrow right away. On the tackle for Newburyport. Nice job by Guthrow on that one, and a uh, two-yard pickup for McPherson. A two-yard game, and he's second and eight at the and, uh, 20. See, that ball now advances down to the Newburyport 20-yard line. Ten minutes to go in the third quarter, just underway. So it'll be second and uh, eight. Or it's actually second and nine. Looks more like that. For the ball at the near report 20. Two backs, McPherson and uh, Owen. Or McPherson and Lewis, rather. McPherson gets the handoff, and he runs to the left. Oh, oh fumble, and McPherson let's see who covered it. It looks like Northy the may have covered it up. The down let's see the what the officials are going to say, though. What? Newburyport indicating uh, disappointment in that call. I, I thought Newburyport covered it up. I think they might have said he was down before he fumbled. The I don't know. Oh, they must have called that because uh, it's now going to be third and about 12 for Stoneham. And they have the ball at the Newburyport 23-yard line with 9-10 to go <laughs> in the third quarter of play. Big play here, third down. Uh, Stoneham is uh, three for four on third down plays. They haven't had many of them. All right, here's the pitch, and it comes over to Lewis on the near side as he cuts down the field, and he's all out of bounds. Dylan Guthrow First on a big tackle right there. And let's see, he uh, got taken out right around the 10-yard line, I think. First and goal at the Newburyport 9-yard line. At the 9. Newbury Ford 9 is where they spot the ball. So first and goal for Stoneham with 9.50. Get that 8.53 to go here in the uh, third quarter of play. 8.53. Four, four, Please move your truck as obstructing a vehicle from leaving the parking lot. Black pickup truck. 448-PB2. Four, four, so it's going to be first and goal for Stoneham with the ball at the Newbury Ford 9 yard line. First and goal starting at the 9 yard line. The, uh, back. And uh, now a flag is tossed. Uh, legal participation, maybe too many people on the field or a delay a game. It's going to look like it's going to be against Stoneham. Uh, one of the players came off late. No, now they're saying no flags. There's no flag in the play. So uh, no flag on that. So it's still going to be a first and goal to go for Stoneham with the ball at the near report nine yard line and 8.53 to go in the third quarter. Stoneham having a appears to be having a problem Did getting the right personnel ball? out. I don't think I don't know. It's been a long time for them to get the call off. First and goal at the new report nine yard line. So you have uh, Lewis and McPherson. They are the backs. And Lowe spins around, hands it off to McPherson, who cuts to his left and he gets McPherson the ball close to the five. Well, he did well. It looked like he was going to lose some yardage, and he actually picked up some yardage. Jacob Berger in on the tackle. They spot the ball at the New Report 6. So it's going to be second and six, uh, second and goal to go for Stoneham at the New Report 6 with 8.26 to go in the third quarter of play. 
So Lewis to McPherson at the uh, back position. There's the handoff to McPherson, and he's in for the score. A six-yard touchdown run by McPherson. He got hit a couple of times, but he just kept those legs churning. He's an impressive runner. He puts his head down, and he can go. You know, we talked about he can go to the outside, but he actually doesn't do too bad on the inside either. That's his third touchdown. So now Stoneham is taking a 32 to 27 lead over Newburyport. Newburyport 27. And they'll go for the two point conversion as they have all day long. And the uh, backs are Lewis and McPherson. Low, under center, gets set. There's the snap. Goes back, throws to the far side, and it's complete. Rose, Pass yes, complete over to it's Dylan Owens. So a two-point conversion there to Dylan Owens with 8.13 to go in the third quarter of play. And the Stoneham has taken a 34 to 27 lead over the Newburyport Clippers. We'll take a timeout. You're listening to High School Football Live on the Legends, WNBP. There's... 7.46 to go in the third quarter of play. Newburyport trailing 34 to 27. Newburyport with the ball. It is second and uh, three at the Stoneham 49-yard line. And uh, there's the handoff. It goes to Northey, who Northy takes up some yardage, yeah. hard-earned. Good second effort. Yeah. It's going to be close. Uh, I, I, think he's, I think he might have it. Oh, they're not going to measure? No. He's, yeah, he's got the first down. Well, they just give it to him. So that spots the ball just at about the Stoneham 46-yard line, first and 10. 7.28 to go in the third quarter. Shea rolls to his right, takes the throw, hangs on to it, and he dives forward as he's at the 40. Looks like he got down to about the Stoneham 38. Gave nine errors in the play, second and one at the spot. So it's going to be second and one for Newburyport. Nice job by Shea in that one, picked up nine yards. Second and one. In the backfield is Northey. Shea takes the snap, comes to his left, puts it up in the air, and it is incomplete. Shea's pass is incomplete, intended for Drew. Bordeaux. Drew Bordeaux had a had two Bordeaux defenders Bordeaux right around him. It was tossed up high, and uh, they couldn't get that same lightning in the bottle again. You know what the Clippers don't run as much as I thought they might would be the uh, reverse play with Bajaco because he usually has good yardage on those plays, but they don't run it that often. So it's going to be third and about a yard to go for Newburyport. They have the ball at the Stoneham 37-yard line. 5.50 to go in the third quarter. Richie, it seems like they keep moving the ball around. <laughs> the, the official just adjusted the uh, spot of the ball. Well, there's the uh, snap, and Shea puts it up, and oh, he gets uh, Shea he's got the first down, the, I think. He crashed right into the chains on the far side of the field. I think he picked up the first down, though. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. Looks like they'll uh, put the ball at about the 36 yeah. yards. Yeah, he's got it. First down. first down. He got it. So first down for the Newburyport Clippers. 5.36 to go in the third quarter of play. First and 10 at the Stoneham 36. Clippers have the ball at the Stoneham 36-yard line. It's been a high-scoring seesaw affair. And Stoneham right now has the lead of 34-27. I have a feeling they're not done yet. No, this could be a point where both teams could be in the 40s by the time we're done. Three receivers for Newburyport on the left-hand side. They send a man in motion. That's Northy. And uh, there's the snap. Shea looking, puts it up in the air, oh. and it's incomplete. That's incomplete. But Jaco saying he was interfered with. So, uh, but... The officials say no. Did you see that play? I don't know if you saw Northy on that play. He came running towards the sidelines. If nothing was going on and stopped right before he went out of bounds, then he took off. There was no one near him at all. Second He's wide open. At the Spartan 36 for Newburyport. You might see that play again and see him come back to Northy. So it's uh, second and 10 with the ball at the Stoneham 36-yard line. 
Yeah, no one picked up Nuthia at all in that. All right, 5.03 to go here in the third quarter of play. Stoneham with the lead, 34 to 27 over Newburyport. Tarion wide on the right side. And on the near side, that's Bordeaux. And there's the uh, pitch out. And Northey carries the ball close to the, uh, over the uh, 30. And a bunch of flags thrown as well. So let's see what they call here. Not enough for a first down. He picked up seven yards, but now I think it's going to go against Stoneham. Yep, the uh, foul face mask against Stoneham. So that's Stoneham's second or third face mask call. Well, the 14 yard line. I think we'll go down to the 14. So they mark it off from about the uh, 25. The mark the penalty down to the Stoneham 9, uh, nine 13 yard line. And they spot the, the ball right around the 15. So it's 5.52 to go in the third quarter of play. Yeah, that's two face masks now. And it's going to be first and 10 for Newburyport at the Stoneham 15-yard line. A lot of them to go on the right side. And they have Terry and Wide to the right. On the near side, it's Bordeaux. Ooh. And they, uh, and they uh, meet with... Uh, Looks like a stone on the fence called that one out. So Cole got nailed right away. Second and 11 at the center 15 for an injury pit. So that uh, puts the ball on the, at about the 16, the uh, Stoneham 16 yard line with 5.06 to go in the third quarter of play. So Cole couldn't get anywhere with that. Two receivers on the right hand side, one on the left hand side. Backs are in the I formation. There's the snap as they uh, hang on to it and then they uh, pitch the ball off as it went over to Northey. He couldn't hang on to it and he covered it up. Yeah, they lost boy yardage. We'll go back to about the 19 or 18. Like the 19. So that's going to be making it uh, third and about 15 to go for Newburyport with 427 to go in the third quarter of play. All right, Shea takes the snap, rolls to his left, still with the ball. Now he's going to run. And he gets shaken out of bounds uh, right around the 15, uh, right around the 10 yard line. So that'll bring up a fourth down play. Ball is at the 10 yard line. So the Clippers get the ball down to the Stoneham 10-yard line. It's going to be fourth and uh, we'll call it about fourth and five for uh, Newburyport with the ball at the Stoneham 10-yard line. This will be the fourth, first fourth down attempt for the Clippers. And 4.15 to go in the third quarter. All right, Bordeaux split wide to the right. On the near side, that's Tarion. Two receivers in the slot on the left side. All types of movement. Shea hangs onto the ball, puts it up in the air, and uh, I don't think he made it. Incomplete. incomplete. Pass was intended for Bordeaux. So the Clippers give the ball up on downs. And Stoneham is going to take the ball over deep in their own territory. 4.09 to go in the third quarter of play. 4.09 with the ball spotted at the Stoneham 10-yard line. Well, now it seems like the game has slowed down to the, the standard pace. <laughs> After the defensive stop is first and ten, Spartans the ball is at the end. The ten field line. is completely uh, covered with shadows right now. And the quarterback, low, gets set. There's the snap, and they uh, run the ball up, hand it off to McPherson. He gets the ball to about the 15. Five yard pickup. Oh, he popped right he through that one. That was that was quick. Down to five with a 15. McPherson's got 99 yards rushing. Lewis has 77. 3.51 to go in the third quarter of play. Oh, 
And it's going to be second and about five for Stoneham with the ball at their own 15 yard line. As the Spartans run up to the uh, line of scrimmage, they hand the ball off again and they run straight and ahead. Lewis. And uh, Lewis. About two yard pickup. So it's going to be a third down play coming up for Stoneham. Two yard gain. So we'll call it third and three to go for the Stoneham Spartans. 3.12 on the clock as it continues to count down. Clippers could use a big stop here. Not too often. Teams haven't scored when they've had possession. Clippers punted once, turned it over on downs, and had one turnover. And Stoneham uh, once on a punt and once on a um, the half ended. All right. Lowe uh, steps up to the uh, to the line, and they hand the ball off. And uh, let's see, they off to McPherson. I think he had enough for a first I, down. I think he made it. They put the ball right at the twenty. Oh, they want to measure. Come on, come on. They've ne they haven't measured at all today. No, this one, uh, you know. He might be just shy of that 20, and I don't know if they start exactly on the this 10 or not. But looks like where that ball's marked, it's on the uh, other side of the blue, so it's going to be close. I'll tell you, Richie, I, they've been marking the ball in strange places <laughs> today. Yeah, I normally don't comp <laughs> I don't say much about the officials, but uh, they've I've always down. been like a yard off. He got it, though, by about the nose of the football. And with 2.31 to go in the third quarter, first, first down. Seven. For Stoneham. So that's right of the 20, and it's going to be first and 10 for Stoneham. That was a big first down for them. Yeah, and if plus it gives them the ball to keep uh, running with it, and if not, they would have, it would have been a tough decision to punt a pass or uh, uh, run that one then. But. Oops, whistle for. Just as the. Time out, Stoneham. Time yep, out just Stoneham. as uh, Stoneham walked up to the ball, they blew the whistle. So the Spartans call a timeout. Yeah. But yeah, the it scoring has slowed down here in this quarter. One score, that's all we've had so far. Now, I'm just curious, why would they call a timeout and then not come over to the sideline? Again, I, I, I don't understand. I, I, I've had to figure out when that timeouts have been called and why. <laughs> All right, it's first and 10 for Stoneham at the ball at the uh, Stoneham 20 yard line. And Lowe puts it up in the air. It is caught right around the 50. Coming up to the ball, the uh, Spartans catch the ball. They run to the left, but Jacob makes a great tackle. Coming up with a catch was Dylan Owens. I think that was 70 yards. So Dylan Owens makes the catch at about the 50. He gets the ball inside the Newburyport 10 with 2.06 to go in the third quarter. So a big pass play for Stoneham right there. And again, the uh, Spartans are threatening. It is first and goal to go at the Newburyport 10. All right, backs are in the I formation. Here's the uh, snap, and they hand it off to McPherson, who runs to his left. And he picks up some yardage, a couple of yards, perhaps. A two-yard game in the play, the second and goal. That's uh, the where they spot eight that. Eight Looks like they uh, spotted it about the nine, with a minute 27 to go in the third quarter. Stoneham with the lead, 34 to 27, and threatening right now. All right, here they go as they get set, the count, and they fake the pitch. Oh, they hand it off, and straight ahead, Toussaint. Toussaint on a nine-yard touchdown run with a minute five to go in the third quarter of play. So that gives the uh, Stoneham Gardens a 40 to 27 lead. So Stoneham has gone out to a 40 to a 27 lead. 
On a nice uh, eight yard run, nine yard run by Toussaint. And uh, Stoneham will go for the two point conversion again as they've been doing that all day. Toussaint and Lewis are the backs. And a low back to throw, and it's complete. Pass over to uh, Owens, uh, Dylan Owens. So Dylan Owens on the two-point conversion with a minute five to go in the third quarter. That makes it 42 to 27. Stoneham with the lead over Newburyport. We'll take a timeout. You're listening to High School Football Live in the Legends, WNBP. How about some pizza? Not just any pizza, but pizza from Nick's Pizza in Newbury making folks happy. As proven by winning the Market Surveys of America and Reader's Choice Award for Best Pizza in the Greater Newburyport area. How about some mouth-watering award-winning pizza from Nick's Pizza in Newburyport? Listen to the interview with the Pat Whitley Restaurant Show on their website, nickspizzanewburyport.com. Stop by Nick's Pizza, 164 Merrimack Street, Newburyport. Quarter ahead, call Nick's Pizza. In the 35-yard line, there's the snap and a pitch over to Northy on the near side as he uh, cuts up the field and taken down right around the 45-yard line. So did they give him enough for a first down? I think so. Uh, they're moving the chains, but I don't know. They're moving it, so I guess they're going to give it to him now. I, well, they, oh, yeah, yeah. Spotted at the Newburyport 46-yard line. 48 seconds showing on the clock here in the third quarter of play. 142 yards rushing now for Northey. All right, uh, Shea rolls to his right, puts it up in the air. It's caught by Spacheco right around the 40-yard line, and he just got nailed. Darius McPherson with a big hit right there, but a first down for Newburyport. It'll be a first down for Newburyport at the storm. Well, we knew McPherson was a good runner. He didn't realize he could hit like that. And 16 on the play. First and 10 for Newburyport inside the Stoneham 40-yard line. And there's the handoff. And uh, they run around on the, uh, on the right. And they get the ball to about the 35. Well, spot with 36. 36. Two, second down, eight down to 15 Rutgers. seconds to go here in the third quarter. Let's see, this is, uh, is that the end of the period? And I guess so. Well, maybe not. <laughs> they 10 seconds the showing on the clock. Yeah. Somebody called a timeout, I guess. That was weird. There's only 10 seconds to go. Must have been movie for it, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> well, the uh, the ball is at the uh, Stoneham 36-yard line. Ten seconds here to go in the uh, third quarter of play. Down on the uh, sidelines, Matt Lowe, the quarterback for Stoneham, just uh, warming up, making sure he stays loose. So the Spartans talking this one out. And they are looking at a, a second and about three, second and three for. Uh, second down, eight to go for Newburyport at the stone 36. There's the uh, snap, and there's the handoff as the Clippers run uh, to the right. And that's Cole. Cole uh, gets the ball. Down to about the 30. That is the end of the third quarter. And uh, that's it for the end of the uh, third quarter of play. So we've done three quarters here at Stoneham High School with Stoneham leading Newburyport 42 to 27. We'll take a timeout. You're listening to High School Football Live in the Legends, WNBP. If you're a high school athlete, a recreational runner, play hockey or basketball with a local pickup team, and you experience any sports-related injury. We're back at Stoneham High School, Newburyport with the ball. There's a bumble, and it's covered up by Newburyport. He pitched it out to uh, Bajeko, and he did not catch it. And uh, Matthew Hayden uh, picked it up. Three yards in the play. Tough time for that. Fourth down what a great play by Hayden to cover to up that loose ball. At the 33. 
And we just uh, first play in the fourth quarter, 10.32 to go here in the game. And now uh, Newburyport looking at a fourth and four with the ball at the uh, Stoneham 33-yard line. So they're going to go for it here on this fourth down play. Yeah, they got no choice. There's the uh, snap, and he puts the ball up in the air. Oh, it's incomplete. Pass was intended for Bordeaux. He was covered. He could not come up with it. So a tough turn of events for the Newburyport Clippers. On a, a play that uh, was a broken play, and then the incomplete pass. And now Stoneham takes the ball over. And it's going to be first and 10 for Stoneham, and they have the ball at their own 33. 10, 11 to go in the game. Stoneham with a lead of 42 to 27. So the Clippers need to stop them right here. Better yet, they need to get a turnover as quickly as possible to get the ball back. So there's the uh, snap. And uh, low puts it up in the air, far side. It's complete oh, right around the 45-yard line. The 45 pass line complete to Owens. First down, first down Stoneham. 12-yard pickup, 45-yard line, first and 10. Yeah, 10 minutes to go in the game. Stoneham leading 42 to 27. 45. As the clock continues to count down, Lowe brings the play in from the uh, sideline. And he has Owens lined up wide on the uh, far side. There's the snap, and they uh, hand it off, and uh, McPherson, McPherson gets stopped at the line of scrimmage. Bo Prey in on the tackle. No gain on the play. 9.27 to go in the game, and... Uh, it's going to be second and 10 for Stoneham with the ball at their own 45 yard line. So right now Stoneham slowing things down as they are, they enjoy their lead 42 to 27. And they just aren't in a hurry to try to give up the ball. Backs are in the I formation for the Spartans. Low gets set. Takes the snap, and he hands it off. McPherson to the right, and he's at the 50, There's inside McPherson the 50. Down to about the Newburyport 47-yard line. 8.40 to go in the game. An eight-yard gain the count. It'll be four down two. So McPherson at picks up Newburyport about eight yards. He's going to be making it a third and two for Stoneham with the ball at the Newburyport 47. Another big... Defensive play coming up now for the Clippers. They got to stop. As we've seen the uh, Stoneham offense get into a rhythm here, they do have some weapons. There's the snap, and they hand it off to the first back through. And I think uh, that appeared to be. Uh, I think he's shot. Is that Lewis? Nick Toussaint. No, that was Toussaint. Toussaint gets the ball to about the 45. It's going to be fourth and inches. Just short of the first down. It'll be fourth down and inches. 7.49 to go the in the game. And Stoneham leading 42 to 27. So it's fourth and inches for Stoneham. With 7.35 to go in the contest. And uh, Stoneham's going to call timeout. Yeah, the uh, Stoneham Spartans just over there and staring at the uh, at the bench out on the field. The, the coach told them they want to call a timeout when the clock runs down to one second on the time clock. So the uh, timeout taken by the Spartans. They're just trying to chew up the clock here and maintain this lead. Fourth and one. Timeout called by Stoneham. Less than one, really. Boy, uh, look, uh, Wells said, great day. Owens is a good day catch. He's got 171 yards and seven uh, receptions. Six receptions for 171 yards. And Lowe, the quarterback, is three, four, five, six, seven, eight for 
10 for 206 yards. So the situation is that Sonam has the ball just uh, shy of the near report 45 yard line. It's fourth and inches. 7 11 to go in the game. Sonam with the lead. And there's the uh, snap. And low pushes the ball forward. And a uh, first down for Sonam. So they get over the 45 yard line to about the near report 44. It's 7 08 to go in the game. Chains move down the field. So Newburyport trailing 42 to 27. They just need to get the ball back. That's all they have to focus on right now. Yeah, the Stoneham defense really uh, picked up a lot here in the second half. They've stopped the Clippers twice on downs. The Clippers haven't been able to uh, score. All right, the backs are in the eye formation. Receiver split off wide to the left and right. Matt Lowe takes the snap, and he hands it off to the first back through. Toussaint, and that's Toussaint. Toussaint uh, picks up some big yardage. As he gets the ball over the 40 to about the near before 39 with 534 to go in the game. 34, so a chunk of five yards for Toussaint. It's going to be second and uh, five for Sonam with the ball at the near before 39. And uh, Stoneham just slowing everything down, letting the clock run out as long as it can. Well, they know the new report can move the ball, so they don't want to let the Clippers have the ball. And there's the handoff as the ball goes to McPherson, who runs right, and he gets the ball McPherson. over the 30 for the first down. It's good for another Spartan first down. So Stoneham moves the ball inside the new report 30. Looks like they'll spot it around the 29, 28 with 5.59 to go in the game. Right at the 29-yard line. 10-yard pickup from McPherson. And 11-yard carry, good for a Spartan first down. The ball's at the new report. There appears to be a timeout on the field, but uh, no indication as to who called it. 120 yards rushing now for McPherson. Timeout of the field. So with a timeout, we'll take a timeout. The score is Sonam 42 and a new report 27, 559 to go in the game. You're listening to High School Football Live on the Legends, WNBP. Stagecoach Restaurant. Damon along with Richie Eaton. Our engineer Chris Bruno. 559 to go in the game. Sonam with the lead of 42 to 27 over the new report Clippers. And uh, Sonam has the ball in Newburyport territory, first and 10 at the 28-yard line. Now there's the pitch over to McPherson. McPherson uh, cuts McPherson to his left, and he gets the ball close to the 20. He's a good runner. Newburyport player is down. And there's a, a Newburyport player injured on that. Let's see who uh, is uh, up. Getting some help off. That's Eight Justin game, Cole. Second down and two for Stoneham at the new report 20. So they are going to spot the ball right around the new report 20 yard line. We'll call it second and one with 549 to go in the game. Yeah, Stoneham's picked up over 400 yards. Totally out is now pushing uh, close to 450 now. All right, the uh, Spartans line it up. The backs are in the eye formation. McPherson, the deep back. And uh, they hand the ball off over to Toussaint. Toussaint. And Toussaint gets the ball yeah, close to the 15-yard line. Well, that's another first down. There's uh, 17. So uh, Stoneham just continues to uh, work it through. First and 10, Stoneham. And maintain ball possession. 16 to go with their lead of 42 to 27. By Nick 534 to go in the contest. As the clock continues to work its way down, they have the ball spotted at the Newburyport 17 yard line. All right, Lowe steps up. Matt Lowe, the quarterback for Stoneham. And he hands the ball off to McPherson who straddles over a defender on the uh, right hand side. And he gets the ball down to about the 15. Yeah, he did well. He hurdled the clip and defended that time. He might have had a loss of yardage, but it looks like he might have maybe picked up a yard. 
So it's going to be yep. a second down play coming up for Stoneham with 5.05 to go in the uh, game. Right now the clock has stopped. Second down, nine it's for going to be a second and nine for Stoneham with a ball at the Newburyport 15. This game, even though they just uh, play 11-minute quarters, this game seems to have been taking a long time. Yeah, the second half seems to have moved a little bit quicker. There hasn't been as much scoring, but it's still, um, st you know, Stoneham's keeping the ball on the ground and trying to run that clock out, but still five minutes to go. So McPherson's the deep back, and Toussaint there. Here's the uh, pitch over to uh, McPherson on the... It goes to the right-hand side. Now he gets the ball down to about the 10. So it'll be a third down play coming up for Stoneham. New report calls timeout. And that stops the clock with 4.56 to go in the uh, fourth quarter of play. So it's 42 to 27. Just Stoneham with the lead. And we'll take a timeout. You're listening to High School Football Live on the Legends, WNBP. It's one of the largest hardware stores in New England. Stoneham High School win Damon along with Richie Eaton. 4.56 to go in the game. And Stoneham with the ball and the lead, 42 to 27. Yep. So Stoneham Spartans have the ball right around the Newburyport 10. Yeah, third down, uh, they can't allow a score here. The Clippers got to hold them here on these two downs and then get a couple of quick scores on their own. Well, Toussaint and McPherson are the backs for Stoneham. And uh, they hand the ball off to McPherson, who runs left. McPherson. And he hit the line of scrimmage and stopped. Yeah, I think he might have got one yard. That's why it's going to make it fourth down. New report timeout. So the Clippers call a timeout. That stops the clock with 4.49. That's the last timeout for New Report. They have no timeouts left. So the ball is inside the 10-yard line. Then Looks like it's spotted about the nine. Yeah. It'll be fourth and about two, maybe three. Clippers got to have a stop here. The wind, uh, which was uh, busy earlier today, has died right down. Yeah. Got to have a big defensive stop here. Then the Clippers got to really open up offensively. Got to get two scores. One of them has to be a two-pointer. Oh, I'll go for two, two, two twos to win it. All right, Dizant and McPherson the backs for Stoneham. It is uh, fourth and two inside the ten. There's the uh, pass, and it's a complete pass, complete to Dylan Owens. So a touchdown pass, a nine-yard touchdown pass to Owens with 4.44 to go in the game. And that gives uh, Stoneham a huge lead right now. Oh, that wasn't a touchdown, only seven yards. I thought it was a touchdown. I thought it was too. No, okay. First and uh, goal to go inside the five. Yeah, it's on the three. Oh, wait a minute, now they're going to kick an extra point. Oh, it, yeah, it had to be a touchdown. Okay. Oh, this, he announced it was on the three. That was the extra point. There's the extra point, and the Shady kick is no good. good. Yeah, that was a 10-yard touchdown. All right. The announcer was calling it. So it's uh, 48 to 27. Sonam uh, coming up with that touchdown pass and uh, the extra point attempt failing. They went for the uh, point after, and uh, it was no good. The snap was bad, and the kick was bad, <laughs> and, uh, and that was it, 48. No wonder they always went for the two-point conversion. Yeah. <laughs> 4.44 to go in the game, 48 to 27. Stoneham with a lead over Newburyport. Newburyport will be playing next week. wonder how Pentucket did. They were the only local team left in the playoff section of the uh, month of November. They had a game this afternoon. A 13-play drive covering 67 yards. The touchdown for Stoneham. Lights are on here at Stoneham High School. Yeah. 
Chris Cascadini's once so again lines up now, to kick off their stadium. Spartans going to be kicking it off and uh, new report and see what they can do with 4.44 to go in the game. There's a, a low kick and it bounces, picked up at about the 10 by Bajeko. Bajeko's at the 25. He's at the 30, the 35, the 40, the 45, the 50, and he's taken down on the just over the 50-yard line at about the 47-yard line of Stoneham. Nice run back by Jonathan Bajeko. Bajeko's had a good job on returns today for the Clippers. The Stoneham 44-yard line, first and 10. So 4.34 to go in the game, and they'll spot the ball, actually, at the Stoneham 45. So with the ball spotted at the 45, the Clippers have very good position for this start of this drive. First and 10, Clippers at the Spartan 45-yard line. Yeah, Clippers trail by 21. All right, they uh, line it up. Shea, Mike Shea, quarterback, goes back, wants to throw to the left. It is complete. complete. Shea's pass is complete, complete to, to uh, Jonathan Bajeko. Bajeko gets the ball down to about the 25-yard uh, line. Yeah, they spotted at the uh, 25. First and 10 at the Spartan so it's going 25. to be first and, uh, first and uh, 10 for Newburyport at the Stoneham 25. Jay, oh, he gets Chase, gets away from one defender, puts the ball up in the air. It's a wobbler, and it's picked off. Picked off by Stoneham. Coming up with the interception, Pat Keneally. The senior on senior day, Keneally picks it off. And Stoneham gets the ball back with 4.13 to go in the game. Yeah, I don't know if Shea lost the grip on that when he threw the ball or not, but it just felt like... Spartan ball, first down at the end, 10 yard line. So, Stoneham gets the ball back. with 4.13 to go in the game and they get the ball at the uh, at their own 10 yard line. Yeah. 48 to 27, the Spartans leading the near report Clippers. All right, they uh, break the huddle. Quarterback is Matt Lowe. Well, the back's in the guy formation, and they hand it off. Toussaint uh, brings the ball on the near side. He gets the ball up close to the 20. And close to a first down. down. Yeah, I think he's got it. Yep, they give it to him. So 4.07 to go in the game. As the clock is winding its way down. So first and 10 for Stoneham at their own 20-yard line now. And the Clippers have no timeouts left, so Stoneham could just run the clock right out now. And again, uh, Toussaint and McPherson are the backs. I think that's the way it's probably going to go for the rest of the game, as long as they pick up their first downs. Toussaint gets it, and he cuts to his left, and he has a first down. He gets the ball. Over the uh, 40, over the 30 yard line. A 12 yard gain. And uh, that down. will spot the ball. Let's see where they spot the ball at about the uh, Stone of 31. Be first and 10 for Stone at their own 31. So the clock working its way down to three minutes and 20 seconds. Stoneham leading new report 48 to 27. As uh, Lowe steps up, and takes the snap, and he hands it off to the McPherson, who got hit, hit and spun around, and he gets back to the line of scrimmage. Right so it's going to be second and 10 for Stoneham, with the ball Little remaining at their 31-yard line. For Stoneham at their 31. 250 to go in the game. As Stoneham is trying to uh, just wind the clock down. So the ball at the uh, Stoneham 31-yard line. And the uh, Spartans break the huddle. Yeah, no hurry to snap the ball either. No, not at all. Toussaint and uh, McPherson, the backs. 
And they hand it off to McPherson, who tries to follow his blockers. And he gets the ball up close to the 35-yard uh, line. And we're down to about the two-minute level to go in the game. So the officials giving that uh, two-minute warning there. McPherson's got 136 yards now and uh, 25 carries. All right, they line it up. As they, uh, looks like they'll get, uh, well, a couple of more plays off. As Lowe under center, turns around, pitches it out over to McPherson. McPherson's out of the first down. He gets spun around up to the uh, 45 and knocked out of bounds at about the uh, Stoneham 47-yard line. So that knocks the, uh, brings the clock down to a minute 23 to go in the game. Going out of bounds stops the clock, but the uh, Spartans pick up that first down. So 150 yards now for McPherson and uh, three touchdowns. He's had a real good game, and low, uh, Owens on receiving line has uh, caught for 181 yards in pass receptions. So it's been a good balance for uh, Stoneham as they approach 500 yards. And now with a back split, they'll probably just uh, down the ball here as we are under a minute to go, and that's it. So they down the ball, and that puts it back to about a yard to about the 47-yard line. And uh, under a minute to go, 46 seconds, as the clock continues to wind itself down. So Stoneham with a uh, lead right now, 48 to 27. And just trying to clear this one out. They down the ball again, so it'll be a third down play coming up. And uh, 20 seconds on the clock and counting down. And that's it. That's going to be the last play of the game as uh, Stoneham has come up with a 48 to 27 win over the Newburyport Clippers. We will wrap this one up in just a couple of minutes. You're listening to High School Football Live in the Legends, WNBP. Sport Media would like to thank the following sponsors without whom the coverage of high school sports would not be possible. Institution for Savings, who also sponsors the player of the game. Giuseppe's Italian Restaurant, Pentucket Medical, Appleton Eye Associates, Newburyport Five Cent Savings Bank, Port City Sandwich Company, and Nick's Pizza, who also is the Feed the Crew sponsor. Port Media greatly appreciates their support if you are interested in sponsoring local programming, contact me, Sarah Hayden, at 978-961-0350.